Josh, your first year in the NBA. What's it like looking back on it now? Uh, a lot of fun. I mean, this is every kid's dream. Um, every young player wants to be in the NBA. Um, so once you're here, it, it kind of, the longer you get into it, the more um, you kind of come around to it that, you know, you're living your dream. But uh, it was everything I expected. Um, it was busy, a lot of travel, a lot of late nights, hotels. Um, the 82-game the schedule, I think, uh, we we managed well. I mean, me personally, I've never played anything close to that many games. But um, I think the, me, the medical team, did a great job of kind of managing my body throughout it and, um, you know, getting through the season. And you were a part of a team that had uh, seemed like they were having a lot of fun, a lot of comebacks, which show a lot of resilience, competitiveness. Just what was it like being part of this group this year? Yeah, really fun team. I mean, um, obviously a really young group. Um, didn't probably win as many games we would have wanted to, but um, whether we won, lost, or you know whatever the result was, um, the environment was always a fun, positive one to be involved in. And um, I think that's the most important thing is with such a young group, you can't get too high on wins and too low on losses. You kind of stay in that middle ground. And I think our group did a you know a great job of that. Josh, how is your hip feeling? And like, do you perceive that to be something that you're going to be dealing with long term? Or is it something you just had to get over for this season? No, it feels good. Um, it was just, you know, a little hiccup. Uh, but the medical team, we did a great job of kind of navigating through that. Um, and obviously, I wanted to come back this season. But you know, when it was time to ramp up, there just wasn't that much left in the season. So um, we made a choice to just shut it down from from where it was. But uh, they did a great job with me um, feeling healthy. So ready to ramp it back up this offseason and, and have a good summer. How tough was it for you sitting out for much of the last two months and, and just having to watch from the sidelines? Yeah, it obviously sucks because, you know, no one wants to be injured. You want to be out there playing, um, helping your teammates win games. But, um, you know, staying healthy at this point in my career is the most important thing. And uh, we made the right decision. Um, but, yeah, as I said, would have loved to have been out there with the guys. Um, you know, it always sucks when you have to sit on the sideline and, and, and not be, you know, suited up. I think we had fun this year. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Um, it's not worth it if you don't have fun, whether you're winning or losing. Um, I think we did so. Um, we got closer on and off the court, um, and I'm excited for the future of this team for sure. Shake is the best player and leader on this team. Like, how transparent um, is the front office, Sam, Mark, uh, with you about the plan and, and the rebuild in general? Yeah, very. Um, we talk all the time. Um, and every time we talk, I get a little bit more excited. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I'm excited for the future of this team for sure. What gets you excited about? Like, what are you excited about? Um, it's, 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 it's it says a lot about having trust, um, and being able to trust, um, in this business. Um, and I think, like, Sam, myself, and, and Coach Mark, um, we had that trust in each other. Um, and I can't go into details, um, but we're excited for the future. Is it easier for you to stay patient that you know the plan and know sort of what to expect in right. these next few years? Absolutely. The level of clarity that Sam's you know put forth with this whole thing, I think uh, makes it very easy to be committed to it. And so I think you see kind of a united front all the way across the board from our staff to our extended staff um, to our players and to a large extent our fans. Um, and I think part of that is is born out of the clarity of what we're doing. We're not hiding what we're doing. It's been very clear what we're doing, why we're doing it, and we're aiming high. There's certainly rough nights for every single team and every single player and coach, um, but it's in pursuit of aiming high and that makes it you know very easy to put that in perspective and make that part of kind of our rise and I'm excited to be a part of that. I'm excited about seeing what our team looks like when we come in the gym in September and I think training camp in particular just looking at who's on the team knowing we're going to be layering in more guys um, I'm pretty excited about the level of competition and that level of competition you know inside your roster is a indicator of um, of having an improving team. Uh, and that's a good thing. It also is competition that prepares you for the rigors of the NBA season. The NBA season is not easy. Uh, and the best way to sharpen your blade uh, for that is internally. And I think we're going to have a really competitive roster. Uh, we lean into that. That's what good rosters look like. Um, but in terms of, you know, what the outcomes of that are, you know, we're going to let that kind of declare itself.